Hey everyone, so I have finally arrived. Uh, it's day 20. Uh, I've been, uh, it's been a really short day. I've been on the road for about less than six hours and I've run a short uh, 37 kilometers. Uh, now tonight I'm not home, I'm not at home. Uh, now it's a two days run. Uh, so. I finished at night, as I'm now used to doing. Uh, it's about uh, it's about 11 p.m. and uh, I'm at a refuge now. This is called Gide d'Etape uh, in France. There's quite a lot of them. This is a communal one. It doesn't cost much. It's uh, rooms with uh, with uh, there's 19 places here. I'm all alone. Uh, although it's summer, so it's quite great. Uh, it's going to be quiet. I won't be a problem for anyone. Uh, now the good news is I'm in the middle of the the hills in Ardèche, and tomorrow uh, I can wake up at 6 a.m., leave at 8, and just enjoy the hills. Uh, that's that's something really great. Uh, and uh, there's so many landscapes here, it's amazing. Uh, I, I ran on the crest of a hill today and you could see on both sides and it, it was, and the, I think it was for half my running day, so for two hours I was going on tops, looking either one one side or on the other or on both sides. So this is amazing and tomorrow uh, I really wanted to run by day and not by night as a planned because there's so many things to, to, sh to see and to shoot and to share with you and I want to do that. Uh, now I've been really lucky, there have been clouds, it's not too warm, it's even too cold. Now tonight I've been running, there was a really strong wind and as you can see I'm like this, so I have whatever what, if something is necessary to, to put on but I try to avoid it because being uh, in, in closed clothes, clothes actually uh, I, um, I, try to, I sweat so they get wet, it's not the best thing. Now, uh, I was really lucky that they let me in this in here. Now, the reason I needed this is uh, I have dehydrated food that needs um, hot water and uh, I can have it here. Uh, I can't really have it either in a camping or uh, uh, if I just stop anywhere in my tent. So that's the reason why I try and stop in places where I can prepare my food correctly. Uh, or even buy some more because it's always better and I hope I can buy something tomorrow morning to add to my meals because it's not enough. Uh, you can be sure of that. Now, uh, uh, it's going to be over soon. I have only a week left but I think I'm going to be running two days runs uh, because there's so many places to see you that are quite far from where I'm staying at. Uh, now the trick is really to get up early and it's the thing that I can't seem to be doing. Now there is one subject I wanted to talk about before I leave you and that subject is the stomach. Now it might be not be the, the most wonderful subject but actually it's quite essential for running. Uh, eating and not having stomach problems, bowel problems is quite essential so the first thing is I have a belt with my uh, with the cardio uh, right here so it's the first pressure I have a second belt which is uh, the, the, the backpack and I have this thing that is actually uh, always going on my stomach uh, going like this and it's really quite uh, a trick I have not to put it too tight to leave it, uh, and it's it's really complicated to find a good balance. Going up and down is quite different, so I try and do it. And today was a bit complicated. I had to go to the loo several times, and actually uh, I noticed that uh, uh, I, I can't run properly when I need to go to the loo. And if I don't go, 
there is something that really stops me from feeling okay and it really slows me down. So by now I know quite clearly that whenever I need to stop and go to the loo, it's okay, I can lose the five minutes and, uh, and do it because it's really important uh, and it, it allows the body to focus on, on running. Now, as you can understand, in, uh, in running one of the problems is uh, eating properly uh, because I can't eat really heavy foods uh, during the, my run, so I only eat um, really light foods and I have to eat really heavy meals in the morning and in the evening uh, but if I run for 10 hours it, it becomes quite complicated uh, and I can feel the, the lack of food in me uh, so that's it it's something that's not easy to deal with it's really important you really have to pay attention to your stomach and what you eat and how you eat it and when you eat it what you drink what you take what you're good with what you're not uh, this is essential when you're running because uh, you're well-being and your capacity to run will actually directly depend on it and if you don't feel okay well you can kiss goodbye your plans and your distances and everything you have to you had in mind because you just won't be running you will be uh, obsessed by your stomach that's its power and on that note i'm going to sleep i have to eat before and i'm trying to do it really fast it's getting cold here i can feel it right now so, see you soon and uh, I'll try and upload the, the pictures as soon as I can because I don't have a good connection now.